Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Stormy Daniels saves President Trump, leaves Robert Mueller seething. Sources have indicated that the investigation into President Donald Trump's never proven ties with Russia is coming to a close. But, it is now believed that Democrats and their puppets in the mainstream media are not going to get the showdown that they desperately wanted, and they have Stormy Daniels, of all people, to thank. Talks between Robert Mueller's team and the attorneys for President Trump, who were negotiating an interview with investigators and the president, have broken down. Now, it appears that Mueller will not get to talk to the president before he concludes his investigation. It was the same type of interview with prosecutors where former President Bill Clinton tripped himself by lying, which led to his impeachment. Democrats have been rubbing their hands together, fantasizing that the same thing would happen to President Trump. One such publication to gleefully write about the possibility of the president perjuring himself was Bloomberg News. In February, the publication wrote that the idea of the president talking to Mueller stirs the imagination. Lots of documents and testimony have already been collected in the inquiry. What if the president contradicts the record or himself? Bloomberg continued, the crime of making false statements, known colloquially among defense lawyers as 1001, its criminal code number, is a common charge brought in federal investigations, lending credence to the saying that the cover-up is worse than the crime. Martha Stewart stands as one of the most famous examples, having been sentenced to five months in prison, five months of home detention and a $30,000 fine for lying to federal authorities who were examining her sale of stock in a friend's company. 1001 is a prosecutor's best friend, Michael Koenig, who was a Justice Department prosecutor, told Bloomberg. It's very simple to explain to a jury. Everyone understands lying. It's not a complicated accounting fraud case where you need to understand nuances of tax law and securities law. There is no doubt that Mueller was thinking the same thing. But, he ruined it for himself with his brash show of force against President Trump's attorney Michael Cohen. It was the raid on Cohen's office that put the entire prospect of interviewing the president in jeopardy, NBC News reported. Before the raid, Mueller and his team were planning on having its investigation wrapped up in the next couple of months, sometime between May and July but that was predicated on interviewing President Trump, according to three sources who spoke to NBC News. It was described as one of the last steps to take before closing the investigation into the alleged obstruction. The report came shortly after the president tweeted about his cooperation with the investigation. I have agreed with the historically cooperative, disciplined approach that we have engaged in with Robert Mueller, unlike the Clintons, the president wrote. I have full confidence in Ty Cobb, my special counsel and have been fully advised throughout each phase of this process. Now, with the interview of the president possibly destroyed, the investigation could wrap up even quicker. The Cohen raid significantly complicated the prospect of interviewing President Trump, but the sources caution that you could never say never. White House counsel Ty Cobb said that the report of talks collapsing was untrue, but Cobb has a vested interest in not embarrassing Mueller's team. And, it would be a major embarrassment if it was discovered that Mueller ruined his own investigation because he wanted to get a popcorn headline by raiding Cohen's office to find evidence of an affair between the president and porn star Stormy Daniels. In fact, if the raid does ruin the chances of an interview with the president, as it now appears, then one could say that the Stormy Daniels scandal, which Democrats believed could damage the president, might be the thing that literally saves him from the switch hunt. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.